everybody, I'm Monkey. I'm Biggs. And welcome to Snack Testers, the show where we test snacks that you might not have heard of or that probably shouldn't be tried. Biggs, are you excited about this new this new premise, this new show that we're gonna do? Um, eating snacks. Are you a man who enjoys <laughs> eating? No, I've never eaten in my life. I, I'm excited for the idea. I'm not excited for the possibilities that we're gonna come up with. Because the the first ones here, I'm not sure I'm gonna like at all. I say, you know, we should we should toast in our very first episode of the new show with this delicious light beer that we found. I don't know, I've never heard this name before, but I thought it looked pretty good. I, you know, I think this is the kingdom from uh, Tangled. <laughs> the Corona Kingdom from Tangled. Is, is that what? Is that really the kingdom in Tangled? I've never seen Tangled. Yeah. Well, let's do a toast to Tangled, my favorite new movie. <laughs> Awful. Wow, Tanglelicious. Look, mine's erupting. Like my dick when I see Rapunzel, you know what I'm saying? Uh... uh. So, Biggs, you ever go to that, uh, that grocery store? You ever go out and about? No. Nope. You ever go shopping? So, at most grocery stores, your Walmarts, your, uh, little grocers, all over the country, your Harris Theaters, hy vs they usually have a whole aisle called Asian or oriental food. Oh, is that where you got the, the beer? Yeah, that's where I got the Corona beer from. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Corona came from, th these beers came from China. The Corona extra beer came from China. Yeah, yeah. And now yeah. all of America gets to enjoy it. They went viral over in America. Right, yeah. Because they're so good. A Chinese gift to us all. Okay. But I ventured into my local Walmart's Asian food section, Biggs, and we found something called Shrimp chips baked. So these are shrimp flavored. This is a Japanese shrimp flavored French fry. Is that correct? Would that make sense? That's what they look like on the front. I mean, it looks like crinkle cut fries. Now what's crazy is according to the bag, these have been around for 50 years. No, these I've have never seen them. These have existed on this earth longer than both of us combined. And we. this is the first time I've ever seen these. You ready to test out these shrimp chips baked edition? Yeah, I guess. Blaze, no, <laughs> that's the lie! Get away! <laughs> this bag is like... <laughs> they had to make it really strong because it's coming all the way from Japan. Does it smell good? It smells really bad. Well, let me let me get away from this. It smells like it just. It smells like fish and chips, like you would get at a, like at a Long John Silver's. Here, there's a look for you guys in there at these. I don't know. It's me. It chips. smells like old dead shrimp. <laughs> well. Okay. It's it's not bad. The initial thought is, I can keep eating this. It kind of tastes like. It's not just shrimp flavored. I, I'm kind of getting like tartar saucy, fishy in general vibes from it. Yeah, it's like uh, Long John Silver's fish with tartar sauce. For real, yeah. But I can also, it doesn't taste like shrimp as much as like the, the shrimp water juice that might be left over after you eat some shrimp. And the best way I can describe these is slight hint of shrimp flavored Funyuns. So, Biggs, the way that we classify, or the, the way that we give verdicts on this show is with three groups, folks. Three choices to rate each food. Good enough to buy again. Good enough to finish, but not buy again. And not good enough to finish. Uh, right now, if you want me to go first, I'm leaning towards... I think we'll probably get close to finishing this bag, but I will never buy it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the same page there. Like, I could... Blaze? Yeah, Blaze is really <laughs> interested in the light in a really funny um, way. Yeah, I could probably keep eating these, but once they're gone, I would not feel the need to replenish the stock. No. If anything, I feel like this will be sort of like meth, where in six months we'll probably have a heavy craving for shrimp flavored chips again and we won't understand why and, and then, then that's when the addiction will begin and then like everything else at walmart that we love they will take it away 
Uh, well, that'd probably be for the best, because this is not an addiction I want. No. <laughs> These are not b- that great. So I guess our verdict, if for those of you watching the show to see, should I try new snacks, Biggs and I would both say, try it once. Maybe you'll like it, maybe try you won't. It, try to find a smaller bag. I, I doubt say. they're going to have a smaller bag. I mean, it's so rare as far as I'm concerned to begin with. I doubt they have well, I'm varieties. sure if you look on Amazon, you could probably find a small bag. Okay, so... So yeah, we both say, hey, give it a shot if you're interested, but it's not one that anybody definitely uh, needs. Yeah. Not that great. So while we were in the Asian aisle, we also came across this weird candy, and I figured, hey, we can just do them both in the same episode, why not? Hey, Blaze, you want to come say hello? Blaze is going to join the episode. So you big sniff it. Oh yeah, you want to sniff the candy? Show off to the audience what the candy even is. I don't even know what it is. Well, try your best to explain. There's like flavors on the back. <laughs> uh, so it looks like just fruit flavored gummies. There's grape, strawberry, melon, and mango. Interesting. And it looks like they might be filled with something. Oh, let's bash these, uh, bust these bad boys open. When I say bass, bass, and, uh, bass these bud boys open. <laughs> yeah, that too. What, what flavor do you want? Oh, uh, surprise me. I'm going to close just... my eyes. I'm going to see if I can guess what flavor it is. So you guys can all see. Biggs, you see what flavor this is? Yep. Hold uh-huh. it up to the camera. I don't know if you can really tell. Okay, well, let's see if I can tell. I, I don't even remember. I think there was a grape but I don't remember what the other ones were. Maybe mango? I guess I'll try this one. Okay. Mm. Well, the outside is really flavorless. Kind of hard in a rubbery, gummy way. There's definitely some sort of fruity ju- juice flavor, but I can't tell what it is. <laughs> what is this one? Did you just say fruity juice? Oh, I, it was mango. Okay. You said fruity juice instead of juicy Dude, fruit. Dude, I had one <laughs> sip of a Corona. You think I can speak straight? We're done. The rest of the day, I'm going to be slurring my speech like crazy. They're not bad, but the outside is like really bland and chewy. It seems like it's a little bit too chewy in like a old candy way, but this, if I had to put it on the scale, I will definitely finish this bag because they're good enough to eat, but probably not to buy again. What do you think? Um, yeah, I probably won't buy them again either. They're definitely good enough to finish. Just like <clears throat> these delicious Corona beers. I think these quarantine episodes of my channels should be sponsored by Corona. Quarantine sponsored by Corona. I've already drank my sip. I'm not drinking any more of that garbage. We got three more episodes. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you can finish mine too, right? Well, for our snack testers, these have been some tested snacks. <laughs> I'm Biggs Bigsington. I'm Simeon Jones. 